Hey, hey, we back at it, y'all. Watchmen, Yahuda Israel. We back at it one more time, y'all. We back at it one more time. So y'all start hitting, uh, hitting your friends list so we can get this word in. Hallelujah. Get this word in this morning. I want to pick up from what I was teaching uh, this morning. Hallelujah. So I'm uh, getting prepared for that. Pray that uh, y'all get an increase uh, this this uh, this evening. So let me get the uh, conference line going, and then we're gonna get started, y'all. <clears throat> Gonna get it in, y'all. I didn't even post on uh Facebook. Maybe we'll get that going in a second too, huh? So you see it's a lot to prepping. We, we, you know, when we be struggling with time management and all that old fun stuff, uh, we got to juggle. You know, when you got a whole lot to do and you don't have a staff to help you do it, it can get real interesting. And so, uh, it's interesting. So now let's go to Facebook, right? See if we can get a post going or something. I don't know. Oh, I see. I got some responses. We got folks hitting the, the hitting the uh, hitting up their friends list. One of these days, I'm gonna learn how to do it myself. Uh, two with y'all. We're going one of these days. Oh, yeah. Well, with no further ado, let's go on and get ready to get it in, y'all. Let's get this prayer going. And let's start the, uh, I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the evening scripture study on this Monday, on the 24th day in uh, in July 2017. Uh, let's dive on into the Word. I was dealing with a topic this morning. It's an important topic, and so I wanted uh, I wanted to deal with it. Uh, ok 
Okay, I just had to, just had to do this, y'all. Had to, had to do it. Here we go. All right. All right. Let me do this and see what it looks like. We, we about ready, y'all. I just had to get prepared. Okay. All right, I think we can roll. I, I think we can roll ourselves. Okay, we good. Let's do it. Let's go to um John again. Let's go. Let's go to. Let's go to John. All right. Let's deal with this. Let's pray. Spirit of the living God, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come together. As your children send a relevant word to this hear your children as we reverence you in your presence. We trust, believe, and thank you that this will be done in the match name of uh, Yahusha Hamashiach. We humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all main. Let's dive in, y'all. St. John's 18, starting the 36th verse. And let's get it. Look what it says. It says, Yeshua answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Yeshua an answered, Thou sayest I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate said unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. Huh. Um. Let's look at this thing, y'all. Yeshua at this point is fighting for his life. His, his life is in danger. Um, they talk about killing him. Now, there are allegories in Yeshua's life. Some things you can take literal, and they really are literal. And some things you can take figuratively speaking, because they're really figurative. Now, Mixing them together, you 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 know like the essence of who Yahusha was, the essence, the you know Yah made flesh, uh, you know Yah made became flesh to uh, become our salvation, and uh, that's coincided with in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with Yah, and the Word was Yah. Yah is what He said. He can talk. Uh, the same was in the beginning. The same what? The Word was in the beginning with uh, with Yah. All things were made by Him, and without anything that was made was made. And if you go to the beginning, you can see everything Yah made. He spoke it into existence. He always used His Word. And that's why in the 10th verse it said, He was in the world, and the world was made by Him, and the world knew Him not. And then you go into the 14th verse, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The word was made flesh, which was Yah. Yah, Yah could talk, his, his voice, his word. And so if you look at who Yeshua really was, he was the word made flesh. The human part of him was the flesh, the son. When, when John saw him coming, he said, uh, the lamb. He didn't say the son, he said the lamb. Because the son was the one that was going to die for mankind. The mediator. The man. The mediator between Yah and man. Huh. Our kinsman redeemer. Yah came on our level, didn't he? And without controversy, greatest the mystery of Yah is Yah was manifested in the flesh. So when we realize who Yeshua was, his dual nature, 100% man, 100% Elohim. 
When we look at his dual nature, we can get more food out of these scriptures. And your sure answer, my kingdom is not of this world. If, 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 if my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight? Fight for what? Now you know he's not talking about fighting for the flesh. Because even when the Pharisees was accusing him and following him and hating on his ministry... Because he was preaching truth, he didn't take up for the flesh. He said, you can sin against the Son of Man. But he that blasphemes, and blaspheme means to go against, but he that blasphemes against the Ruach HaKadet, the Spirit of Yah. And he also taught that the words that I speak unto you are spirit and life. Ephesians said, in nothing but one spirit. If you got the spirit of the word, then you got the spirit of Yah, and you got the Ruach HaKadet leading and guiding you, the voice of Yah leading and guiding you into all truth. So to look at the essence of Yeshua, he, he, he didn't take up for the flesh. A, a, a rich young ruler came to him and called him good master. He said, there's none good but one, even though John 10 said he was the good shepherd. But he was denouncing, not giving credit to the flesh. He's not taking up for his flesh. It pleased him to bruise his flesh to redeem us, to rescue us. For sin, condemn sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Sin, condemned in that, uh, uh, that carnal nature, that fleshly nature. He never sinned, but, but, but the flesh is the one that had to pay the price for it. And he took on a flesh, a body, to, play, to pay for the sins of uh, 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 mankind. I'm trying to paint a picture for y'all scripturally so y'all can follow with me, right? You sure answer, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants, then would my servants fight? Fight for what? For the flesh? Nope. What was in the flesh, which was the Ruach HaKadosh, which was the word, which was the truth. Yeshua said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. His mission was to protect truth, not the flesh. When his protégés, Saul, Shaul, they call him Paul, he said, he said I didn't come with excellency of speech and, and man's wisdom so that your confidence can be in the wisdom of man. I came in a demonstration of the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of Yah, the power of Yah, the word. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to deitize humanity. Humanity is not that cool. Humanity is the problem. Huh. You sure answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom, and his kingdom is a spiritual kingdom, is his, his, his spiritual uh, uh, government. He has a, a spiritual governmental structure that Adam went against in the beginning and Yeshua came to build it back up. That everything be found and established on the word of Yah, on truth. On truth. Pure truth. Little leaven, leaven the whole lump. He's not mixing it with man's nothing. He didn't ask our opinion about nothing. Look at the tabernacle, the beginning of the tabernacle. He didn't let you pick the, the nails, the distance between the nails, the different fabrics, the furniture. Man had not, nothing. I'm talking about 100% nothing to do with it. Period. Because he's drawing the true picture. He's drawing a picture here. Yeshua said, my kingdom is not in this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, art thou a king then? That's a question. Art thou a king then? Yeshua answered, Thou sayest I'm a king. You 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 wanna you want you you wanna you wanna question my kingship because people are not fighting for truth. They abandoned me. 
They, 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 they left me out. They, nobody's fighting for me. I'm here alone. My folks that was with me cut out. I, I, I'm here alone. And, and, and if, this, if this was my kingdom, if this was my governmental structure, they would be fighting to protect my interests. Huh. But since I'm not, you question my kingship because, because many draw nigh onto me with their mouth, honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, far from truth. I came unto my own. The word says, and my own received me not. But as many as received him, to them gave you power to become the sons and daughters of Yah. Because they were submissive to truth. They obeyed and submitted to truth. That's what this thing is all about. Look what he said. Paul said, therefore, he said on him, art thou a king since ain't nobody rolling with you? You sure answer, thou sayest I'm a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world. Don't, don't think I'm not a king just because I am in this situation. Because the word is going to rise again. Truth is going to rise again. Truth is being tested and tried. To this end. This, this ain't no happenstance. To this end. I was born. <laughs> and for this cause... Came I into the world that I should bear witness unto the truth. He came to bear witness of truth. Right here, he didn't say I came bear to bear witness of the word, which is was true, because the word is true. But he lets you know the the the, the 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 ingredient that he came to protect was truth. I came to die for the sins of mankind. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. Believeth in the truth. You got to know who he is. You got people that get stuck because they believe in on the body. That's why they're wearing images of it on crosses on their neck and all that symbolism. When Yah went down with graven images in the first place. But as we grow, we'll grow, we'll grow to learn that. No disrespect, because you got a lot of people that love him. They got crosses all on them, tatted on them, and everything. They just didn't know no better and probably still don't. Some do now, some don't. But whatever it is, Yah's looking at the heart. But what we do is we grow in truth. We don't lie against truth based on our personal mistakes and circumstances, based on our uh, religious position, because the more you get to know him, you, you, you shy away from religion, and you start getting into the more relationship. It gets more intimate. He's able to deal with you, reveal uh, to you yourself through truth. You got to be a truth lover in this race. So he said, I came uh, 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 that, that I should bear witness of truth. In Hebrews, he said, I come in the volume of the book to do the will of Yah. He, he, he didn't come in his own will. He didn't come in the will of the flesh. He came in the will of Yah according to the word of Yah to fulfill everything Yah said. And somehow the importance of, of uh, truth of the word is being lost. It's being substituted and switched out for religion. And it's the truth. You got folks that are switching out truth for religion, believing that, you know, that the table of Yah is contemptible. And it's not. You, you got to roll with truth. Bottom line, right? Pilate therefore said unto him, uh, Art thou a king? Yeshua said, Thou sayest I'm a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. And everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Everybody that's of truth heareth Yah's voice. Now let's look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeshua said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. You got a saying like people believe in their theology, right? That there's essential truths and there's non-essential truths. 
when the truth speaks for itself. What do you mean a non-essential truth? Right? Look at this. Let me show you this real quick. Proverbs 30 and 5. Look what it say. We're going to go back right to John, but look what it say. 30 and 5. Look what it say. I'll say, I'll even add in 6, but let's go, let's do 5. Right? Look what it say. It says, Every word of Yah is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Every word of Yah is pure. Every word of Yah is essential. What the heck is a non-essential truth when it comes to the things of Yah and the word of Yah? There is no such thing. We, we, he came, he came, he was born to, to bear witness to truth. Then that expected end for him to die for the sins of a, a mankind was based on truth. What is the truth about that? The truth about that is Yah so loved the world. And that's true. That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is a truth. So he had to come in the volume of the book to bear witness of truth. Bear witness of the word. To keep the word perfectly, with no no glitch in it, no no human opinion in it, straight one hundred percent word. What does the word say? And when you keep it, you're establishing truth, because every word of Yah is pure. So let's take like salvation. You got people that believe. That there are essential truths pertaining to salvation. And there's non-essential truths that don't have nothing to do with your salvation. That's not true. Every word of Yah is pure. I'll break it down, but I'm saying, why are we going to start believing what the words say? The words say, every word of Yah is pure. Show me something Yah say that's not essential. If he tell you to stop laughing, you better stop laughing. And that's essential to your salvation. If he tell you to stop drinking, you better stop drinking because that's essential to your salvation. The word says meat, the kingdom of heaven is not meat or drink. So put meat and drink secondary to souls is what it's really teaching you. Don't, don't, don't use uh, eating pork and, and drinking wine uh, because, you, you, you know, you say the word uh, 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 allows you to do that, uh, but, but it is offending your brother or your sister. So the word tells you to show pure love and don't do it because the kingdom of heaven isn't meat nor drink. So, so putting in this proper perspective is telling you, you know, to, to put... You know, to put it away and don't be fitting your brother's sister if you have the liberty to do these things. Let a man be fully persuaded in his own mind, the word teaches. So you can do these things because Yah is allowing you to do it. But if it's causing your brother or sister to stumble because you're doing it, it Saul, Shaul said, I won't do it until Yah come. If it's going to cause me to hurt somebody. So to say, that meat and drink isn't essential. It's, it's essential if he told you not to do it. Or it's essential if you do it in offense. I'm going to do it anyway and say forget you. Because every word of Yah is pure. Everything he say is pure. It ain't no non-essential truth. Huh. Every word of Yah is pure. Let me give you another example. If Corinthians teach, which it does. <clears throat> now I beseech you by the name of Yeshua that you all speak the same thing and that there be no division among you but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. That's what the word says, right? Okay, let's look at it. Did he mean it? Is every word of Yah pure? Is it, do, the, do the word teach that a kingdom divided against itself can't stand? And do the word teach in, 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 in Corinthians, the third chapter, say... Where there's envy and strife and division, are you not carnal and speak as men? 
And we know in Romans 8, it says to be carnally minded is death. So if you're carnally minded, that equates death. That's pure word. So division is a state of death. It goes against what Yah say. What did Yah say concerning it, right? Like, you look at denomination. Denomination means division by definition. Is Yah with that? Well, Yeshua came and tore down the middle wall of petition between the Jew and the Gentile. To give everyone a shot at salvation through the main ingredient, faith. Living faith that works, that lives the life. Not that verbal stuff. But everyone gets a shot at it. He tore down the middle wall of petition. Man came along and built up a hundred, uh, about, about, about 10,000 uh, divisions with all these different denominations, which means division. And he said, I beseech you by the name of of Yeshua HaMashiach, that you all speak the same thing. The same thing. And that there be no division among you. Talking about Baptists? What, what John the Baptist said, I, I'm not even worthy to untie his, 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 take his sandals off, to wash his feet. People come up with all these, you know, all these different labels of division. Is that according to the word? Now, who loved truth enough to admit that without a spin on it? Or here we go. That's a non-essential truth. What makes it essential is because Yah said it and the word has gone out of his mouth and won't return unto him void. What makes it essential is he said, you go say what Yah say is non-essential? Oh, that's a non-essential truth. <laughs> What's well, essential is that you believe in Jesus. <laughs> what, 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 are you serious? Come on now. Let, let's talk about it. Let's, let's, let's bring the word in. Let's shine the light on this religiousness. Having a form of yaliness denying the power. Let's shine the light on it. John talked about uh, 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 folks uh, 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 love darkness rather than light. When you shine the light on it, expose uh, the the Pharisees, uh, the Sadducees, and the council. They didn't like Yeshua because he was shining the light on their religiousness. They had a form of yaliness, and he was proving that they had a form. He was proving they didn't have a real thing, and they did not appreciate it to the point they wanted to kill him. And when truth come along, that's why Yeshua said, "Say, I didn't come to bring a uh, 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 um, um, peace. I came to bring a uh, division." Because I'm going to divide the wheats from the weeds, the goats from the sheep. I'm going to divide mother against daughter and father against son. I'm dividing and what's going to divide it is the truth. Don't think I came to, to bring peace. I came to, to get my children. <laughs> when I first came, I came to get uh, the, lost house, the, lo the lost house of Israel. But they didn't want it. Only a little remnant wanted it. The main ones, they didn't want it. So they were blinded, and I opened it up to uh, uh, to the Gentile. Read Romans the 11 chapter. However, I'm celebrating because he told uh, Abraham, I'll make you father of many nations. It's not, this is not a plan B. It just showed that Israel wasn't ready either. He said, I'm coming back to him, but let's stick to the narrative. Truth. They they rejected truth. They was kicked out. But he's he opened it up to to, to everyone that they they roll by faith, believing in truth. So now let's not get besides ourselves. Everyone got a shot at it, but it's through truth. It's through faith and truth. It's through through faith in what Yah say and, and and acting on it. And and and, and, and let's throw in the uh, sixth verse now. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. You gonna add a theology of non-essentials when it comes to the things of Yah? Did you know that is Yah's goal? It's his goal that we all be one. Period. Yeshua prayed in John 17 and said, make them one as we are one. You think that, you think that prayer is going to fall to the ground? Was that prayer a non-essential that we be one? Well, this is the process of how we become one. The only way we're going to become one is through truth. 
Kick out the lie and pure truth. Everyone grow at their own rate, but everyone is growing. And what's going to happen is he got folks out planting and watering, but his yard is giving the increase. The scales is coming off the eyes of Israel, and, 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 the, and the true gospel is going forth. And people are learning. In these last days, he's pouring out more knowledge, more truth. Because time is winding up. It's time for truth. It's time for the, 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 the rubber to meet the road. And it's happening right before our eyes because he's all making us one. You got folks that back up from truth because they're religious. They, they don't want to identify with truth because truth will isolate you. Truth will call you further out of the darkness into the marvelous light, but all your folks is still in the darkness. Your church members is still in the darkness. Your Hebrew brothers and sisters is still in the darkness. So you want to start a step and then come up with the doctrine of the non-essentials, a non-essential truth. <laughs> when every word of Yah is pure. Denomination. Oh, that's a non-essential. He, he had Sha Shaul begging us. <laughs> begging. By the name of Yeshua that we all speak the same thing. And there's to be no division. Now in, in Psalms 138 and 2, it says that he exalts his word over his name. Which gives us some elbow room that when truth comes, if you accept that, you good. You don't know his name yet. You don't know his fame yet. You don't even know all what it takes to be saved yet. But it's coming. He's revealing theology to you more and more as we see the day approaching. You, you, you should be growing in the knowledge, right? Huh. Look at this, though. When we look at James 4 and 17, look what it say. James 4 and 17 say, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Come on, let's break it open now. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. In other words, if, if a truth come and y'all reveal it to you, you're responsible for it. You can't pretend like you don't know now. Folks try to be willingly ignorant. Man look on the outer appearance, y'all look at the heart. You can't fool him. When he give you a truth, you're responsible for it. Huh. And when you come responsible for it, you should be coming more into the light. I don't know how many of the folks that uh, Shaul, they call him Paul, when he was raised up in ministry with, I don't know how many of them got saved later. But I'm telling you, some did. All of them wasn't lost now. Even the truth that he was preaching was pricking their hearts. He was one of them, and the, the truth finally got to him through Stephen. And he touched all kind of hearts. All kind of lives were saved. But at that time, he couldn't do the package deal. He couldn't reject the fact that he met the word on that road to Damascus. He couldn't ignore that. The word on Damascus told him it's hard to kick against a prick because it was pricking his heart. It was troubling. He heard Stephen preaching and teaching while he was holding the coats of them that stoned and killed him. But he heard the truth. It was weighing on him. He belonged to Yah. He was in error, and it was weighing on him. And the word came, knocked him off his donkey on the road to Damascus, and told him, uh, uh, Saul, Saul, why dost thou persecute me? He said, who art thou, master? He said, I am Yahusha Hamashiach, whom you are persecuting. It's hard to kick against the pricks. So his life was able to, he couldn't just hang with them and, and say that they're going to get saved. When he revealed truth to you, you got to come out. It ain't saying other folks ain't going to be saved. You're responsible for truth now. You can't run around here if he revealed to you. If he tell you denomination is a sin, then you got to disassociate yourself with that stuff and go against it if he go against it. If he preach against it, you should be preaching against it. If he stand against it, you need to be standing against it. And folks don't want to suffer. They don't want to go through. When it comes to identifying with truth, folks then want to start categorizing some of Yah's word as non-essentials. How dare you do that to yourself? You're not hurting nobody but yourself. 
And anyone that will believe a fake, weak gospel like, oh, there's essentials and non-essentials. I'm just sticking with the essentials. <laughs> if, 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 if symbolically there's some bread and a, crack, a cracker, a cracker and some Welch's grape drink that they want to whip out as communion. Well, communion means fellowship. And where two or three are gathered in my name, touch the green according to his will, they should have what they ask for if they don't die. When we come together, two or three, he's in the midst. That's communion. That's fellowship. Breaking of the bread of the word. That's why Hebrews 2 and 1 say, Therefore, giving the most earnest heed to the things which you have heard, at least at any time you should let them slip. Because you're supposed to discern Yah's body when you're coming together. Ain't no cracker causing people to be sick and sleep. Sleep means dead. Sick is you sick, cancer sick, almost on the death sick for not discerning, not giving the most earnest heed to the, to the things which you have heard. The true word, the, our forefathers ate manna in the wilderness, they're dead, Yeshua said. But I'm giving you the true word, the true bread from heaven. Communion, when we come together, when the word is going forth. And we're supposed to discern the word. Romans 3 and 3 and 4 say, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yah without effect? Yah forbid. Let Yah be true. Yah is his word. Let Yah be true, but every man a liar. And we refuse to do that because we have to come out of the darkness. We want everyone to come out together. We want to come out as a ministry. Come out of what? Religion and false doctrine. What is false doctrine? Anything that's not true of what Yah said. Is it true that we should have denomination? Because if it's not, then come out and be separated from it. And stand with it. Because what he's doing is he's calling his body out of the darkness into the marvelous light. And his sheep hear his voice. A stranger, they ain't going to follow. They might have been under the influence of a stranger until the truth come. Saul might have been under uh, the influence of a stranger, religion and all that. Until the truth came. He really loved him in his heart. But when truth came, he busted wide. <clears throat> he busted wide and he came out of it. And that's our obligation. We got folks that's religion, religious thinking, all I need is Jesus. That ain't his name, number one. And number two, if he's the word. He didn't take up for uh, <laughs> he didn't take up for the body, why are you? We got folks running around taking up uh, for the flesh. He 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 denounced his flesh. So you can sin against me. You just you just better not sin against uh, 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 the Ruach Hakadosh, or you will have issues. <clears throat> Come on, somebody. You 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 got you got to identify what was in the body. You can't you can't you <clears throat> you can't believe you got the proper relationship with him. Uh, 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 trying to take up for the flesh. Because it don't work like that. Look at this. <clears throat> I had to turn around. I wish I had some water, y'all. We're going to keep teaching, though. But look at this. 2 Corinthians, right? 2 Corinthians 5. Look what this say, right? It says, look. Look at this. 2 Corinthians 5. And it says, uh, uh, and 14, right? Uh, <clears throat> it says, this is Saul talking. Same one, right? He said, for the love of the Messiah constraineth us. Meaning, I love him, and so it handcuffed me. It got me, right? Because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. That's the truth. We don't do us no more. We don't do religion no more. We don't do form of yodeling. We're all dead. He died for us. Remember, we were baptized into his death, according to Romans, the sixth chapter. We're all dead, period. You can't do you. I can't do me. We know that the flesh, lust against the spirit, the spirit against flesh, they're contrary to one to the other, so you can't do what you want to do. Galatians, the fifth chapter, right? We're dead. <clears throat> and that he died for all, that they which live should henceforth live on, not unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. He got up, y'all. Wherefore, henceforth, because of that from now on, is what that's saying, right? Wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. The flesh don't win in this race. Your opinion, get it up out of here. Every word of Yah is pure. 
He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Every word. Show me what you would call non-essential, and I'll prove it to you by the word. It's completely essential to your salvation. You got to obey every word of Yah. Everything he tells you to do. Every truth that he's establishing his 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 ecclesia, his body upon, you're responsible for. When he reveal it to you, huh, to him the north to do good and do it not to him it is sin. You got to speak for truth. You got to be one that is speaking up for Yeshua in his physical absence. He handed the baton to us, y'all. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we had known the Messiah, I'm going to say it again, y'all. Yea, though we had known the Messiah after the flesh. You got a, a picture of it. You got, you got him on the cross. You got a picture hanging. <laughs> though we had known the Messiah after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. We don't even know him after the flesh. Because then you'll get comfortable and have a carnal fleshly relationship with him when you should be having a relationship with what was inside of him. He gave up that body. He said, you can sin against me, but he that blasphemed, which means to go against, against the Ruach HaKadosh, the word. He that goes against the spirit, goes against the creator. Can't be forgiven in this world, neither the world to come. You cannot continue to go against his word. Adam went against his word. He had a contingency plan set up. Huh, he was going to take on a body and come rescue us to put us right back in line with the word. He, he came up with our forgiveness package. So now we can now deal with the word for ourselves. You ain't got to blame Adam and Eve now. You're dealing with the word directly. So get the first Adam out the way and the second Adam. The, Ad, the second Adam came, died on the tree for you and me, rose again with all power. And he said, I will not leave you as orphans, though. I will come to you. John 14, the spirit of truth is coming back. I'm going to take this body off and I'm coming. I won't leave you, he said. I'm going to pray to Father and he's going to send him. And then he said, I'm going to come. Y'all better catch it. But the word came and baptized himself inside of us to lead and guide us. So the body, get it out of here. Man ran up to him, told him, good master. He said, Who, there's none good. No, not one. That's Yah. You trying to deitize a, a, a deified man? I'm not doing that. Even though John uh, wrote in the tiffs. A, a, a chapter of his epistle that I'm the good shepherd, which I am. I ain't telling you that because who are you speaking to this flesh? Saul didn't come speaking with ecstasy of, of man's wisdom. He don't want to get you twisted and looking at man, deitizing man, exalting man. You got to rock with truth, period, and truth only. Folks, folks got all these religious cathedrals erected with their name on it, <clears throat> all kind of names. The, when the body came to be 100 with you, the body was born with a name that's above every name, and at that name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. When did Yah ask any man to name his, his body? Building or not? <clears throat> when you go through the Old Testament, uh, 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 when, 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 when Solomon built it, he said, this house which I have built is called by thy name. He ain't taking no credit. And that was a physical building. It said a building made of cedar. He had a physical building where they was going to come worship. He wasn't going to put nothing else up there. You go to Safeway and you get a can of beans, it's going to say beans on it. <clears throat> Got to guess what's inside. He didn't ask you to name nothing. But that's religion. That's a part of the blind state. But when he started pouring out a, 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 a more knowledge... You should bow down, but people get stiff-necked and come up with the with the doctrine of non-essentials. <laughs> oh, that that really don't matter. That 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 don't really matter. You know, he looking at the heart. That don't that don't <laughs> that don't the doctrine of that don't matter, right? Oh, that's a non-essential. The essential thing is, long as we all calling on Jesus, you know that that's the main thing. Why you always being petty? Why are you so petty? 
You know, we all getting around here. We got the choirs here. We ready to sing, and here you come with that old stuff. That's why I don't come around. The doctrine of nine essentials, right? Look at Malachi, right? Malachi, the first chapter, seven verse. Look what it say. It say, "You offer polluted bread upon my altars." Y'all talking, right? And ye say, "Wherein have we polluted thee?" In that ye say, "The table of Yah is contemptible." The table of Yah got nine essentials. Now, to you, every word of Yah is not pure. Some things he say, ah, oh, that ain't about my salvation. <coughs> <coughs> that stuff don't matter. You know, as long as we all just, we need to just find something we all can agree upon. You know, we can agree to disagree. Agree to disagree? The word says, I beseech you by the name of Yeshua, that you all speak the same thing and that there be no, none, no division among you, but that you be perfectly, how many know what perfect means? Perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. What you mean agree to disagree? I disagree to disagree. We better be like the Bereans and study to see what those things be so. And when we come up with a truth, if it causes you to go against your denomination, you look good rolling with Yah. If it causes you to go against your bishop, you look good to go against your bishop. If it causes you to go against your mama, you look good going against your mama. He said, I didn't come to bring peace. I came to bring a sword to divide and find out who is rolling with truth. Yeshua came to die for it, he said, in John 18. <laughs> he said, I come to die for this end. I came to bear witness of the truth. The truth is, I'm finna die about this. And all my children that's utter truth hear my voice. That's what he said to Pilate. That's what he told Pilate. I respect Pilate. Pilate came back and said, what is truth? Because <laughs> you got folks that's running around and thinking they know truth. And then they're going to add a non-essential on it. On the word of Yah, the word that came out of his mouth that will not return unto him void, it's coming back with some non-essentials. <clears throat> the arrogance of man in his ignorance, because some people love him, they just don't know no better. The arrogance of man, the piousness of man in their ignorance. Non-essentials. Well, how many of y'all got the doctrine of non-essentials in your, oh, this is essential, and this is non-essential. If he tell you to stop smoking them cigarettes, that's essential, baby. <clears throat> if he tell you not to forsake the sinning of yourself together, that's essential. If he tell you to give, give, because that's essential. If he tell you to stop lying, you better tell whatever he tell you to do. If he tell you he won and you called him three, that's essential. If he reveal it to you, if you don't know, to him to know it to do good. If you don't know, say you don't have that revelation. Of his deity for real. Or do you not know it because you willingly ignorant? <clears throat> because the masses is up under the council of Nicaea and Constantine. The Nicaean creed that called him three. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Are you under that? But you're living the life? Then he exhausts his word over his name. But you better be living the life. You better be following the word. But when truth come, now you got a different temptation. You living the life. You ain't sleeping with folks. Just like the rich young ruler. He had a bunch of stuff. He was doing cool. He was cool with his neighbors and all that. But when it came to selling out everything, give to the poor, he wasn't willing to do that. Some people is willing not to fornicate, not to lie, not to cuss. And they live a decent life. Like the rich young ruler, right? They live a decent life. But when it comes to the truth of the gospel... The truth that will cause them to have to separate, to come out from among them, they ain't finna do that. <laughs> uh, they, ain't, they ain't finna do what Saul did. They finna go back with their Pharisees, lying to me, uh, to my family over there. Uh, would you mean trying to tell me all them are lost? No, what, when he revealed truth to you, you're responsible for it. And they could be walking in a state of error right now. Some of them are saved as heck. Though they don't know because he exalts his word over his name. They don't know yet, but you know. And you think you justified to go back in the darkness based on the fact uh, you want to accuse truth. Someone bring you truth. You want to accuse them of accusing the saying that they're not saved. Some of them ain't, but some of them is. And when y'all get an increase, one is, folks is planting, believe that. 
and some more is watered. But Yah is giving the increase, and what he's doing, those that he get an increase, he's calling them out to hover with truth. The big religious crowd was with the religious folks. The small crowd was with Yeshua. Yahusha was with him, the small crowd. And he was calling from the big crowd into the small because the big crowd leads to destruction. It's the straight and narrow crowd that leads to life. So he's calling those that hear his voice out of that into this. And those that are religious will start accusing those that's calling them out as, oh, what you trying to say? They ain't saved? Oh, he going to send them to hell because of a denomination? Now you're a Pharisee. <laughs> now you're a hater of truth. Bow down the truth. Do the word say, I beseech you by the name of uh, Yahushua that you all speak the same thing. And that there be no division among you. Blame it on the word. Why are you aiming it at me? Do the word say that you all should speak the same thing and that there be no division. Is denomination division? How are you going to justify that? You going you gonna to blame the person that brought the truth? Well, that's exactly what Yeshua was talking about. Religious folks blamed truth. He had a bunch of haters. That when he spoke truth, they couldn't stand it. Stephen spoke, spoke, spoke truth, and then religious folks killed him. They stoned him to death. Religious folks don't like truth. It exposes them. You got a bunch of Casper the Friendly Ghost folks running around here. They're real nice people, but they don't bow down to truth. But let's live with it, right? Yeshua said, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight? Who fighting for truth? Who willing to come out from among and be separate? Who willing to tell the bishop, the pastor, the pope? The truth. What if some did not believe? Shall that unbelief make the faith of Yah without effect? Yah forbid. Let Yah be true, but every man a lie. Some folks ain't going to let their bishop be a lie. They're going to side with their pastor, their bishop, no matter what. They're not going to side with truth. Because truth ain't going to get them to promotion. They're not going to be able to lead the choir. They're not going to get on the payroll. Huh. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight? Those that belong to Yah is fighting for truth. Hell or high water, if you're by yourself, you're going to fight for truth. And I don't cuss. <laughs> for the record. Huh. Hell could be used in a pro proper way. I don't get mad and start saying hell. Just so you know. Never to. Ever. Because it ain't cool. Let not filthy communication come out your mouth. I had to clear it up to let you know. I'm saying the saying hell, going through hell and high water. To hold on to truth. To hold on to righteousness. And if it bother you, I won't say it again. Heck of high water. Right? Then would my servants fight. To, to, to hold on to truth that I should not be delivered from the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. I'm not at home, y'all. <coughs> you got folks, when you bring truth, they're going to fight against it. They're going to try to poke holes in it. They're going to backbite and talk about you behind your back. Because they're Pharisees. They're the Jews. But those that belong to Yah is going to rejoice at a message like this. Some folks is tearing you up, but if you love Yah, you're going to get right. Let Yah be true, but every man a liar. Every man. Your daddy, your mama, your bishop, your cousin, your lover. Every man a liar. Let the word be true. Folks don't know how to deal with things and handle disputes or do nothing. The word tell you how. But you got religious folk, nice people. They think they're nicer than you, so they think they're saved than you, and now they come up with the, with, with their own little 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 religious position. Huh. Pilate therefore said unto him, "Art thou a king?" In other words, he questioned him. Man, I thought you was a king. Man, what's going on? What you doing here, all toe up? <laughs> you supposed to be king over these people. The ones that's hollering, crucify him, crucify, kill him, kill him. I don't know. Give me Barabbas. Kill him. You got folks siding with the devil now. Over truth. That's my bishop. You know how much our, our denomination done done? That's a non-essential. What is wrong with you? 
Why don't we just go all go? Hey, y'all, y'all say Jesus. Everybody, drown him out. He's causing trouble. He's a troublemaker. Everyone with the Casper, the friendly go. Y'all friendly. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king? Yeshua said, Thou sayest I'm a king. To this end was I born. Ain't nothing happening out of, out of the uh, ordinary. These folks is going against truth. But I was born to try to rescue them. I was born to go through this. And for this cause came I into the world. That I should bear witness of the truth. I don't care what they say. I don't care what nobody say. When are you going to have your own personal relationship with him to stand on truth? Because if you do, you're going to be going against the crowd. That's why the word says save yourself from this untoward generation. The generation, this religious generation is going untowards truth. Having a form of yalliness denying the power thereof. Huh. I bear them workers that got a zeal of y'all. They talk that friendly stuff. They talk that good stuff. They call truth bears troublemakers. Preaching like this is trouble. I'm causing division. The same kind Yeshua said he was causing. I didn't come to bring peace. I'm not here to bring peace. I'm here to save souls. I'm here to find y'all's true children that love truth. Because he said that I should bear witness of the truth. And everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Truth going to come check you. It's going to snatch you out of the bed. It's going to make you put them drugs down. And it's going to cause you to stop having a form of yallingness denying the power. It's going to call you to the carpet. And you're going to be responsible for your lifestyle. And you choosing religion over the creator. Because folks have a tendency to choose religion over the creator. Like it's the thing to do. Having a form of yallingness denying the power thereof. Huh. Having a form. Not the real thing. It's a form. It's a fraud. It's, it's a front. Folks acting friendly. You better get saved. You ain't got to be friendly with me. Just get saved. Bow down the truth. Pilate said unto him, what is truth? I respect it. He didn't know. Because I bet you if he did, he'd outdo a whole lot of folks. He'd outdo the Jews that was out there that was supposed to be the religious people. Huh. Huh. He said, what is true? I mean, I don't know. You got folks claiming to know. And then they're going to sit down with a pious look and put that's a non-essential. Every word of y'all is pure. Don't get it twisted. Next time someone come with you with that non-essential stuff, you help them out in the spirit of love. You check them. Check them from the flow up so they can throw up that false doctrine. Pilate said on him, what is truth? When he had said this, he went out again unto these religious folks, right, the Jews, and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. I might not know what truth is, but I know this dude is clean. Huh. The one y'all accusing, he's the clean one. You jokers is the one out of pocket. Huh. Anyone come with truth? Well, I'm telling you now, the word that's pure essentially said, down with denomination. What you doing naming his body in the first place? Who gave you that authority? Where you get that from? Oh, that's a non-essential too? Huh. Communion? Cracker and some grape juice? They was eating whole meals. Whether you knew it or not, read it. Corinthians 11, they was eating whole meals and getting drunk. And he said, this is not the master's supper. Go home and eat. Because they was they was having a feast. It was the feast. It was the Last Supper. It was it, 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 it was the feast they was having, and the only th it wasn't just bread and wine. It was real wine. <laughs> it was real wine. Folks came in the Corinthians. They were getting drunk and eating, and didn't bring enough food for everybody. It was okay. He said, "Man, get that up out of here." And then he broke down what com real, true communion really is. It was symbolic the breaking of the bread. He was gonna break his body for us. It was symbolic drinking of the wine. He was going, his blood was going to be spilled to sign the New Testament because there is no New Testament, new, no, no will of testament uh, without blood being shed. You got to be dead in order for your will to go forth. The, the old one was uh, for, uh, the, the blood of animals. The animals wasn't sinning, it was us. <laughs> so a man had to die.
So, so, and, and, and the blood had to be pure blood without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. That was Yeshua. Sipping the wine is symbolic. Eating no cracker and you guilty of the of body and drinking no wine and you guilty of the blood. When you get the true essence of breaking his body, his physical body was broken uh, for, for, for the spiritual uh, bread, which is the word, uh, to go forth in us, which is truth. And we need to bow down to truth. If you never eat another little cracker and drink that little crazy little little cup of juice, it ain't even enough to wet my whistle. Could y'all get a bigger cup of, of juice if you're going to have me up in there and, and give me some butter to put on the bread or something? Goodness, y'all ain't got no flavors? Get some... That's not what it's about. It's about the true bread, the word, and the fact that he died that you can have action at the tree of life so you can change and buy down the truth. Please kill that noise. Talking about non-essentials. Every word of Yah is pure. He's a shield unto them that put their trust in him. He said, add thou not unto his word. At least he reprove thee. means to check you. Reprove thee and thou be found a liar. Don't add. Don't add no non-essentials. Don't get to everything he tell you to do. You look good doing it. Everything he tell you to do. Because it's all essential. Spirit of living Yahweh, we love you and thank you for another opportunity to come before you with boldness and love with you. Thank you for the imparting of the truth. We pray that your word go forth globally uh, to wake up your children even the more. As you graduate us to truth, as you reveal truth, we should navigate the truth and support truth and come out of the darkness, come out to religiousness and, 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 and navigate to the truth so that the funnel process will continue. Give us a heart and a mind not to justify ourselves to stay in a religious covering and, and ignore and go against truth by ignoring it, not supporting it, uh, giving our attendance, our money, and our time uh, to false doctrine. <laughs> Be not a partake of another man's sin. We're partaking in false doctrine and sin after uh, we receive the knowledge of truth. Even in your word, Romans uh, 1 it says, holding the truth in unrighteousness. Give us a heart and a mind to come out from among and be separate, and, and you'll receive us. We trust, believe, and thank you that the word went forth and we receive it. In the master name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. Y'all want to chop it up with me for a minute? It's good. 302-202-1102, extension 815648. And y'all that like the message, share it. Hallelujah, and amen.